Hello again. So we're going on to problem three of the significant figures in chapter one of the 13th edition of Pharmaceutical Calculations with Ansel. This is for University of Toledo's PHPR 3010. So we're going to go through uh, these answers. So for your homework, there was assigned uh, these last two. So we'll go through those first, and then we'll go through the other ones second. So round each of these three decimal places. So uh, to round these, uh, you need to look at your decimal placements. So they are asking you to round to there after the decimal point. Okay? So this first one, uh, so when you round, so let's start rounding. If it's 5 plus, you go up. If it's 4 or below, it's the same for the number next to it. So for this, uh, oh, actually this one, number C, we'll, we'll start that one. So for this one, uh, 4 is in that third decimal place, so 1, 2, 3. So the number next to it is actually a 9, and so that is 5 above. So you would go 0 0.005. Okay, then for this next one, 1, 2, 3. So that is where we're rounding to. The one next to it is... Uh, a six, so actually this is an interesting one because you would actually change it to 6.130. And this is a um, trailing zero after a decimal point. So this would be a significant figure for sure. Now we're gonna go up to these first two that were not assigned for your homework, but if you need more practice, you can go along with me. So this one is actually, this first one is actually tricky for some people because there's our third decimal point. There's nothing there, but the one next to it is an eight, and so it will round up. So that will actually go to one. And then this next one, there's your point, and then the number next to it is a zero, so that's four and below. So you will have 34.795. Okay, so nothing happens on that last one. And then that is it for problem number three.